Good afternoon, Mary Grace. Good afternoon, po, ma'am. Okay, Mary Grace. Can you tell me about yourself? I'm Mary Grace E. Ferrer, ma'am. I'm 29 years old. I'm single. I live in Nabalan, Santa Ignacia, Tarlac. Okay, I have a few questions for you to answer. So let's start. Yes, ma'am. Why do you want to work as a maid? I want to work as a maid because I want to help my parents, especially my special brother. Why you choose Malaysia when there is a lot of other country? Malaysia is an open country and Malaysia is good. How are you qualified for this job? I'm qualified this job because I'm physically fit. May I know what your educational level is? I'm a college graduate. What was your recent working experience? I'm, sub I'm a vendor. Have you worked abroad before? None, ma'am. Do you have experience of taking care of babies? Yes, ma'am. Whose babies are you taking care of? May I know whose children is that? Whose babies is that? Uh, uh, Dr. Asis Obaldo and Dr. Jacqueline Obaldo and SPO3 Asis Obaldo. Oh, okay. So you mean uh, your employer before? Yes, ma'am. How old was the baby? Four months, ma'am. Okay. How about elderly? Do you have experience? Take yes, ma'am. Okay. Whose elderly was that? My, my grandmother, ma'am. Do you have any other special skills? Yes, ma'am. Like? Cooking, sewing, cleaning, washing clothes. Are you willing to learn new skills? Yes, ma'am. Are you willing to work with a family where the mother-in-law or any relatives stay together? Yes, ma'am. Currently, are you still working now? Yes, ma'am. You're working as? As a vendor, ma'am. Okay. Do you know how to cook? Yes, ma'am. What sort of food can you cook? Adobo, pakbet, Filipino food, ma'am. Are you aware that you will have to do washing, cleaning, ironing, and cooking? Yes, ma'am. From all the house chores that I have mentioned to you, which do you like most? The most I like is cooking, ma'am. You are not allowed to use handphone during working hours. Yes, ma'am. You are only allowed to use handphone after you finish all the works and when going to bed. Yes, ma'am. You are strictly needed to surrender the handphone to your employer in the morning and your employer will return back to you once you're going to bed. Yes, ma'am. If ever your employer finds out that you're abusing of using your handphone and it's affected your work performance, your employer will confiscate your handphone and you are not allowed to hold it anymore. Yes, ma'am. Okay, instead, your employer will allow you to call to your family three times in a month. You only allowed to bring normal phone and you are not allowed to bring smartphone. Are you agreed for the terms and conditions? Yes, ma'am. Are you agreed to the rules and regulation for the handphone? Yes, ma'am. How many years is the contract as you agreed and understands? Two years, ma'am. Can you describe for me your attitude? My attitude is a hard working I'm a hard working person ma'am with discipline ma'am. How can you assure to us that you will work hard in Malaysia? I work hard because this is my choice ma'am. Can you promise not to use the telephone without the permission of your employer? Yes ma'am. Can you promise not to put on makeup but to dress properly while work? Yes ma'am. Can you promise not to invite friends and relatives without the consent of your employer? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to ask for advance salary from your employer under any circumstances? Yes, ma'am. Do you really understand of the rules and regulation of the agency? Yes, ma'am. Do you pay any placement fee for you to come to Malaysia to work as a maid? No, ma'am. Do you have any history of sickness, breast cancer, or any other illness? No, ma'am. Do you suffer from any skin diseases, allergies, or physical defect? No, ma'am. Have you suffered from any serious illness? No, ma'am. Do you smoke? No, ma'am. Have you undergone any operation before? 
No, ma'am. Are you medically fit or are you fit to work? Yes, ma'am. Are you in any medication right now? No, ma'am. Are you allergic with any food? No, ma'am. Okay, are you prepared to work for the employer of different races? Yes, ma'am. Are you prepared to eat the type of food taken or given by your employer? Yes, ma'am. Are you afraid of being left alone in the house? No, ma'am. Are you afraid of dogs or other pets? No, ma'am. Can you promise to work according to instruction from your employer? Yes, ma'am. Do you have any family members working in Malaysia? No, ma'am. Okay, Mary Grace, we have finished our question section. Let's proceed for case study. I have a case study for you and I want you to respond truthfully. Upon arrival in Malaysia, within six months only, if ever one of your family members passed away, Mary Grace, what will you do? I do not go home, ma'am. I, I sent money. Okay. So, how many years is the contract again? Two years, ma'am. Okay, if in case your employer is watching you right now, what do you want to tell them? Mom, I'm Mary Grace Fair. I'm, I'm willing to work hard. Anything else do you want to tell to your employer why they need to fire you? Okay, you need to have, because I'm physically fit, mom, and mentally and I'm uh, I'm choose this work, mom, because uh, this is my passion and is my I can apply my skills mom. okay tell us about yourself again I'm Mary Grace E. Ferrer I'm 29 years old I live I single I live in Nabal Santegna Shatarla and why do you want to work in Malaysia as domestic helper I want to work in Malaysia because it's not open uh, uh, Okay, thank you very much, Mary Grace. We will update to your agency if there is any selection made by the employer. Thank you, Mom.